Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be covering React Router, which is a standard library in React that allows us to navigate through different pages in our application. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating a simple app, which is going to have a navigation bar, and then I'll implement the login the registration forms, and then we can navigate to and from them. So uh, using React Router. So I'll show you from the beginning how to do this. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a React application. So we'll do that first. There is a video on how to create this on my channel as well. If you want to uh, check it out, I'll do it pretty quick here and then we'll skip to the React Router part. Okay. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is create an application, a React app. So just go to, uh, to the Visual Studio or any editor that you're using and issue the following command, npx uh, create React app, and then the name of the application, in my case, uh, test app. This is going to create like a new uh, React application. So I already have a video on how to do this if you want to check it out as well. All right, so now we have our application. So if we just go back. Uh, I think we can just CD into desktop. All right, so now let's just run it just to make sure that everything worked as expected. All right, so now we have our application. You see that's running. And if it doesn't, if the folder doesn't appear here, you can just open the folder and just locate it what it is and just click open. So in my case, I have it here. So we'll just open it so that you can also manage it from here. Yeah, as you can see here, now we have test app. And then, all right, so I just opened it uh, on the left as well so that I can manage some of the folders here. So if you go to source, uh, we'll just create a new folder called pages. And here we're just gonna put like a bunch of pages like, uh, you know, login, the JS will have a uh, also like a sign up the JS and also uh, for now let's see and also let's create like a home that JS all right so we'll just have three different pages next thing that I want you to do is to come to the terminal and issue the following command npm i react uh, router dom and that's going to install uh, React Router. All right, so now React Router has been installed. So if if we go to app.js, so here what we're going to be doing is, um, well, no, you want to go to index.js. And this is where the app is, right? So what we want to do is come here where the app is. And well, first of all, let's just import uh, the browser router because we're going to be using it in, uh, in the browser. So we're going to be routing there. So import browser router from React Router DOM and then come where the app is and let's just wrap app with the with the tags for that component. Let's have something like that. Alright. So now the parent uh, the parent component is gonna pass to the children component all the routes and it's gonna understand what we wanna do when when we're trying to route through different pages. So once you've right. done that, you can close this. Now we have to define our routes. And let me just uh, let me just rename this and let's just put the this as home login so that we don't make any mistakes. Here we'll say sign up. All right, so now we're just gonna be creating these pages. Uh, we'll just say something like this. We'll just have some tag here that says home. And then let's just copy paste this for the other pages as well. Just to save time. This would be the login page. Okay. And now here. All right, so now we have our pages. So now we need to add the routes to those pages. So now we'll just go back to app.js and here's where we're gonna be adding all the routes. So let's just get rid of this here. We'll just have the return and this is where we're gonna be adding our routes and let's, uh, the, we don't want the logo either. We'll just, uh, we don't have any styling so we'll just leave it like that as well. And then here, we'll just, 
we don't have any styling so we'll just leave it like this for now all right, all right so now what we want to do is uh, we're just gonna use the routes component which comes from this is from react router dom and then this is where all our routes are gonna be so this is how you set the route you need a, an element and you need a path so what's the path of the home page so the path of the home page it's just gonna be like slash and then we'll have a uh, you know you you have to set the the element the component here and this is gonna be the home uh, the home component so this one here just make sure that you import it here and this is gonna be the route the route to to the home page so now we want to do the same thing for the login and the sign up page so here we'll, we can say sign in and then here we can say uh, sign up or let's just change this to match uh, what we have which is login right and here we're gonna be uh, saying login and you can just uh, click on it so that you import it and then sign up here the same thing all right so now we have our routes so let's just run the app and let me show you how this, they work so right now we don't have a navigation bar or anything like that so we'll just have to type the URL and that's gonna take us to the different routes here that we that we have defined here all right so let's just go here uh, let's see what's going on oh it's still running so let's just give it a second all right, so the problem that we're having here is that we're no important route. So that's my fault. So let's just don't forget to do that. And then the other problem is that it says it cannot find find the file login.js. And that's why that's because I changed the name of it. So let's let me just uh, run the terminal again. Let's see if it's going to if it's going to work now. So home page sign up that I gave it all right, so the problem that I'm having is that I'm that this is not matching the name that I gave it here. So remember that we changed this from uh, lowercase to uppercase. So let's just change it to let's change it to uppercase now, and this should work. All right, so yeah, so now it compiles successfully. So if we go here, we can see that the home page is here, and now if we give it, um, let's say that we give uh, what was it, login right. So now it's going to show the login page. If we do sign up, it's going to show the sign up page. All right. And then if we just do a slash, then it's just the home page. All right. So now we have to type it manually, right? So we want to add like a navigation bar and then put that, uh, put the links in there so that we can navigate um, across the app, right? So let's just do that now. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is we'll just go to a source folder. We'll just create a new uh, a new folder called components. And inside of this folder, we'll just create a navigation folder as well. So let me make a mistake here. So let's just uh, create a navigation folder. And that one is going to have a file called navigation.js. And this is going to be our nav bar. So we don't want to create it from scratch you can do that if you want to i'll just go to react the bootstrap and i'll just copy this now bar here and i'll just modify it just to save some time and of course i have to uh you know install react bootstrap i think this is going to give me a problem and let's just change this to be just navigation right so const navigation And then the same thing here. All right. All right. So let's see if this is gonna work. I don't think I have installed React Bootstrap, so I don't know. If, I don't think it's gonna work. But like, if not, we'll just install it real quick. All right. So now I need to install React Bootstrap. So you can just go to you know the React Bootstrap page. Let's just copy this command. Go back to to our project here. Let's go to the terminal. Just issue the command. All right. So so while we wait, we can be uh, fixing this. We don't we don't want this drop down here. So let's just get rid of that. We just want a few links so that we can just test our nav bar, our React router. So this will be just whatever React uh, router tutorial or something like that. 
right in here we have some of the the links so let's just add one more for the sign up page so we'll just change this to login and then we'll just change this to sign up all right all right so now that we have it let's run the application once again and let's see if if this works so we don't need a yeah. I already have a video on how to do a navigation bar using React and Bootstrap, so you can check that out if, you, if you'd like. If not, just bear with me here and we'll keep uh, going with this. Let's go to where our application is. Oh, and we also need to just go to Visual Studio once again. So nothing is going to happen because we didn't import the navigation bar to any of these pages. So just go back to the home page. In here we're gonna bring uh, the navigation bar so where is the navigation component so if you go here and just click on it it's gonna well it didn't import here in this case oh so now we imported it and the problem that's saying here it's that we need like a parent element so then what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna wrap these two components here like this Right, so let's save it and it's still trying to start the, the server so let's just give it a second all right so now let's go to to see our nav bar so the styling is not being imported here so why is that so let's let's figure out here Right, so the styling is not being imported. That's because we didn't import this or this. Okay, so we'll we'll just put this in the index.js or app.js file. So let's go back. I'm just doing this uh, really quick. I already have a tutorial on this, so you can just check that out. And let's go back here. Let's see if it's gonna work now. If not, we'll just try the. Okay, so now it worked. So now the styling has been applied and if you go to home well you can see here that it takes you to home login so these don't have like a link we didn't give them uh, like a path so let's just go back to visual studio let's go to navigation and here we'll add our routes so we know the home page is just like the slash login just say login which is what we have and here we'll just have sign up And we can add also this one if someone clicks on the on the logo it's just gonna take them to the home page all right so now let's go see the application so well let's let's just go to to the home page so now if you go to login so now it says slash login and it takes you to the login page we don't have the nav bar here because we didn't import it you can do it if you want to or so that you know we can come back right so let's uh, let's do that. So I didn't import it because for the login and sign up page, it's just gonna be a page that if you log in, um, you know, you're gonna be taken to the home page, and if you sign up, the same thing. So I don't want them to see like the navigation, I guess. But we we, we can change that. So let me just import it here for both of the components, and and then that'll be it. All right. So have this here so let's do the same thing here all right see this. so it's not important the elements so let me see if it works if I just do this navigation and then just click on it so now it worked and let's do the same thing here Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. All right, so now if we go to our application, so now we can see that, you know, if you click on, well, the logo, it's, it takes you to a home page. You go to home, it's the same. Login, you have slash login, sign up. All right, so let's add another route now that we have our application ready here. So if you go to, let's go to app.js. Uh, let's say that we, let's create another page right so we'll just create another page called 
just blog or something like that blog.js and let's just copy and here we'll just say blog All right and now we have to go to app.js and we have to add our route let's do this and then this one uh, this one is going to be a slash blog and same thing we have to bring the component that we want to be rendered and since we're importing from the same place we can just do this and just change it all right so now if we go to yeah i think that's that's good so let's go to our application and you'll see that now if you refresh we'll have a new nav link uh, it's, oh, we didn't add it to the navigation we also have to add the link here just call it blog all right so that should be it so if we go to our, our application you can see that we have the blog link and if you click on it it's going to take you to that route and this should show like the blog page here sign up login and you see that's pretty fast as well all right so i think that's pretty much all for this tutorial on the next one we're going to be creating a login page so i'm going to show you how to do the login with firebase and also google sign in and then we'll create a sign up page and and then we'll take it from there so i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching uh, leave a comment give a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one thank you